Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and this is the Friday when I will go have my heart checked. So um, I'm going to try to get some fans reviewed before I have to go in for my appointment, and hopefully I'll be back so that I can continue with my work and also with finding a new apartment since my landlord is kicking me out for no other reason than greed. Yay. America has turned into a nation of greed and narcissism. It's very sad. Now, uh, this review will be of the BitPhoenix Spectre Pro LED 140mm. I don't know how green that looks to you, but it's fairly green. It does come with uh, pins, rubber pins and washers for mounting. A little, I guess it's a manual, I guess, or maybe it's a warranty. Let's see, warranty, limited warranty. Ooh. And um, it's a one year warranty. It does also come with an adapter, so you can plug this into the power supply if you prefer, which of course means it'll run at full speed. It comes with a um, oh, a separate cable so that you can su uh, supply power to the fan LEDs separately from the fan itself, so they're not leaching power from the fan fan bolts. And it is a three pin connector. And in order to use the fan LED power, you would pull this off and then you would attach this two pin cable to it <clears throat> and plug that into the adapter for the power supply, plug that into the Molex D adapter for your power supply, or Molex D cable, I should say. And this is what it looks like. Notice the interesting hexagonal appearance on the corners, which kind of is interesting because if you pay attention, you'll see that there are two sets of holes here, not one. And that's at um, about 125 and uh, 105. So you can use this in a position for a 120 or a 140. And yeah, it's got that honeycomb appearance or on the eight corners, which is a signature thing with some of their fans. The fan blades have protrusions on the both the concave and convex sides. And I'm sure you're curious to see what the lighting looks like. So let me turn that away. So there's the lighting from that side and the other side naturally is not as interesting looking as this side. Of course this isn't incredibly interesting, but it is slightly interesting because you can kind of see at the end where it gets a little bit darker for each of these lights. The lighting appears to kind of curve. I'm not sure if that's refraction or the shape of the blades. You'll notice also for the support frame from the hub to the frame, there are a lot of these legs. So let's go ahead and investigate this fan further with my helping hands. I have no worries about this uh, fan 
jumping off or anything like that. It's not a powerful fan since it's an old fan. I'm going to turn off my uh, window fan. Okay, so let's get ready to rotate. As you can tell, it's completely noiseless at such a low setting. I'm starting to hear a low hum. Here's our harmonic resonance, which I think is the second one I've heard. Some interesting sound like a uh, air tearing. And that tearing sound could be cavitation. I'm not really sure. All right. So this is the kind of fan that's mostly useful for exhaust. I suppose if you have a thin barrier that is not pr producing resistance, you could use this for intake on a case too, but it's not going to be appropriate for any kind of cooler. Let's go ahead and look at the specs. The Bitphoenix Spectre Pro BFF-LPRO-14025G-RP. And it was a $14 fan when I got it. Certified CE, made in China, 140 by 25 R, um, millimeters. I don't know about the uh, lifespan of this fan. It doesn't actually have any information on the box, which is pretty common, but it does come with a one year warranty and it includes four green LEDs, 160 grams of weight, nine blades, uh, 105 and 125 millimeter mounting positions, 1200 RPMs max, plus or minus 10%. 86.73 CFMs of airflow, 1.38 millimeters of water static pressure, which I call BS on. That is definitely much lower than that. 22.8 uh, decibels, 57 centimeter long fan cable, no daisy chaining or sleeving, three pin piece DC connector, fluid dynamic bearing 12 volts, starting volts of five, three watts, 0.25 amps. And it has indicators for direction of flow and rotation, turns in a clockwise, direction comes with the screws, four, uh, four rubber pins and washers, 72 centimeter LED power cable. Um, and then it also has the three pin, two wire to uh, Molex D 12 centimeter adapter. Thank you to Grindler, a.k.a. Lawrence Abrams, who is the owner of Bleeping Computer for consenting to allow me to put my results in text form on Bleeping Computer's forums, as well as linking to my videos. Please visit Bleeping Computer, support them, make use of them. It's, they're a valuable resource that's been around for 20 years, and they deserve support. They have lots of resources. Um, you can learn about cybersecurity from them. You can get help with uh, malware on your computer. You can get help with all kinds of stuff. They have a, a range of volunteers uh, who help people who come there for advice, and they're very knowledgeable people for the most part, and 
some of them are very, very, very helpful. Old Todd has been uh, very helpful to me over the years uh, that I have asked for input on uh, things. And so thank you to Bleeping Computer. Thank you to the volunteers on Bleeping Computer. Also, thank you to my peers on other tech forums who are so kind as to provide me with input, uh, suggestions, feedback, and so on. Uh, I really appreciate it, but my greatest thanks goes out to Bleeping Computer because you are my text home, I guess you could say. All right, thanks also to all my viewers and subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.